Hello and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Wednesday, July 3rd, 2024 by Gaia Blooming. I'm Mimi and our energy mantra for today is the larger the feels, the bigger the feels, the deeper I lean in to nurture and nourish myself. And today we had some shifty things happening on Tuesday. Um, and so we're kind of shifting out of them and preparing for the next. We're building to a new moon on Friday, which means we're really headed into the dark of the moon. Um, and the dark of the moon can have information for us. It can have information about last month. <laughs> um, and it can have information for us from the lifetimes past. It's kind of like a 12th house Piscean kind of energy. So it can bring up the stuff. It can bring up the feels. And with the moon and Gemini making some interesting connections, we may have some interesting stories. But also we may also make some interesting connections. I have a connection to share with you. So my ascendant is 29 Gemini. So for the last few months, I have been feeling Neptune at 29 degrees Pisces. And today started off with a bonkers dream, really bonkers. Um, but as the day wore on, I found myself finally really coming out of this hermitage that I've been in, as I realized, since, you know, Neptune and Pisces hit 29 degrees. And so... <laughs> Just FYI, it's fascinating to make the connections. It's fascinating to notice what's coming up. I did things today that I've been trying to make myself do and have not been able to make myself do for months. Um, and so, hey, if you're feeling like me, let's do this. So let's look at today's astro and see where we can make some more connections. We have the moon, like I said, in Gemini. First thing Wednesday morning, 12.04 a.m. Pacific time, connecting to Jupiter. And that's at the same time that we have Mercury and Pluto in their opposition. I mentioned it, warned you about it tomorrow. I mean, yesterday. <laughs> I have also been backwards today. So there's that. <laughs> um, funny things that these astro things do to the brain. But, um, you know, the moon conjunct Jupiter is going to make our stories bigger and mercury in leo connecting to pluto also has stories probably inner child stories probably some stories that have some ego agenda however we can empower them with some heart energy and i encourage you in whatever you're feeling experiencing to bring the heart energy up as the leo walks into the house noisily close the door <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. <laughs> Perfect time as I'm talking about heart. Um, so, you know, we all have stories about things. Something happens. We even have a pattern of things that happens. And that feeds our stories. It feeds our evidence that this thing is true. But things are true and stories repeat until we get it figured out, until we get the lesson. And sometimes the lesson is just empowering ourselves and telling a different story. So keep that in mind with this Mercury-Pluto thing. That being said, there may be a little power tug of war. Your inner child may express some not empowered feels in this energy. Um, and like I said, that Jupiter-Moon connection could potentially make this bigger. That being said, I have some beautiful cards for today. At first when I looked at them, I'm like, they're all major arcana. And then I was like, no, only three of them are. But you know, three out of five. So some major lessons in this. We also have the moon connecting to Saturn. That's not gonna be till later in the day, but it's definitely another interesting reminder. Life is a marathon right? We treat it like a sprint and we've got to get there now. We've got to reach that goal now. Now is the only time that matters. And hello, now is the only time that really is. But lives are a marathon. I do believe that we fulfill dreams, wishes, purpose, work over many lifetimes. And if we can hold that perspective, that's kind of the Saturn and Pisces perspective, 
I think we can better enjoy the ride that we are on now. Enjoy the journey that we are on now instead of always being dissatisfied that the now isn't here. And this is my interpretation of this moon in Gemini, which Gemini definitely just wants to like, can I be to the next stimulus? Can I be to the next stimulus? What's the next, the next, the next, the next? And Saturn and Pisces is like, plenty of stimulus in this moment experience all that is and just be in the moment moment to moment so keep that in mind because again this is one of those things we have multiple transits that i think are kind of driving impatience um and the universe is like slow down you crazy child you're so ambitious for a juvenile well, Billy Joel for you right there. Um, so let's look at these cards. Is there anything else I want to say about that? Oh, that transit feels a little confusing. There might be a little confusion that comes up. And again, this is one of those things, if you're feeling confused, like sink deeper in. Listen to your feelings. Listen to your intuition. That's part of these cancer energies to lean into that, to be supported in that energy. And cancer definitely like sometimes just needs to learn to float and wait and feel your way through until the moment arrives. So I love these two cards that are, you know, bookending the card. So my non-major arcana are booking, bookending the major arcana. So the top card is the moment to moment. So slowing down, take it easy, moment to moment, being present in the moment, which will lead you to the success. And the success card reminds us, I have the tiger. Keep your vision on where you want to go, even as you're processing all the things. Like, it's like, keep looking at the map point. Like, oh, I'm going there. Oh, I'm going there. Keep that in mind with that. But let's look at these major arcana. We've got some integration happening. This is the temperance card, which can also be, slow down, <laughs> you crazy child. You're so ambitious for a juvenile. Patience, balance, waiting it out kind of energy. I also think that this is about integrating deeper parts of ourselves and we're definitely on our way or already working with inner child energies. So see where inner child energy wants you to integrate. Next card is courage, which is the card of heart. So again, we have this message of loving a little bit more, whether it's in that power struggle or even if you have some big feels arriving in this um, dark of the moon energy that you need to tend to tend to and nurture yourself. I will also say I'm getting a message for my Leo friends. Um, you're in your 12th house. You're in the time before your birthday and this is a very karmic time. It's wrapping up lessons and you may need to give yourselves extra love, extra TLC, extra heart at this time. My Leo's shaking his head and pointing at himself. Yes, for sure you. Speaking of nurturing, we have the creativity card. What? Don't freak out about uh, whatever pops up when you look at it and then let it flow and let it go. Source is working on it for you. All right, so the final card is the creativity card. This is the Empress card, and this is card of mother. This is like, for sure, you know, cancer -y energy, nurturing, nourishment, and creativity. Knowing that you have creative solutions available and the universe has even more creative solutions or whatever to help support you on your path, moment to moment, to your success. So, that's it for today. You can book a reading with me email me me, me clark at gmail.com i have it posted below if you did not understand that because i said it kind of wonky um and besides that the better it gets the better it gets there's more than enough love in the world for you you have the power and remember who you are for you are a loving solution namaste <laughs>